Hey guys, it's Aaron. So a few weeks ago, we put out a video showing how we broke down a woodworking project to prepare it for layout. That was actually this one that's on the screen right here. We got some feedback, which was great. We love hearing from you guys. But uh, somebody wrote in talking about, you know, non-destructive ways to do the same thing and prep this model for layout. So we're going to look at that. We're going to actually take this exact same model and prep it for layout, just like we do with the other one, without having to tear it apart. So if you guys remember, this model consisted of a whole bunch of pieces all separated out and laid out next to each other. I compared it to actually staging the pieces on the ground. We did have to do some things like copy some pieces so we could get multiple views in one viewport, but we're gonna look at how to do that, prep the same views basically without taking apart this model. So I'm gonna start by deleting these extra pieces and I'm gonna come over here to scenes and I'm gonna grab all my scenes and select the first one, scroll the bottom, shift and pick that bottom one and hit minus to get rid of those. Delete. I was gonna put us in a weird spot because I just deleted the scene we were in. So I'm gonna to go to uh, camera, go back to perspective. Let's go to a, a standard view. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking every piece of this model and putting it onto its own layer. So I'm going to grab my legs, for example. I'm going to come up here to layer and just type in legs. I'm typing in that's the new one I want to create. The other thing I could do is I could come in here to layers and create the, the layer and then select the items and use a drop down to assign it. Regardless of how I do it, what I want to do is put each of these items on its own layer and then turn off the layer. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna deconstruct the model on the screen. It's gonna slowly disappear. So I'm gonna put this onto something called bottom shelf and then turn it off. And work my way through the whole model till everything's gone on its own layer and gone. So we're gonna do that right now. And there we go, everything's gone. Now what we can do is, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new scene. I'm gonna turn everything back on real quick. Now that I have all, everything on its own layers, and I'm gonna create one that's gonna show the whole thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it the whole thing. Now I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna do the top front piece because it's a cool looking piece. And I'm gonna go to a front view, get it nice and big in my screen. And I'm gonna go to my camera, just like I did on the other model, parallel projection. And maybe I wanna actually change some here. I might go into my styles and put this on a white background. And uh, monochrome. There we go, that's the view I want. So now with that, this is exactly what I want to see. That's what I want to see when I get into layout. I'm going to go ahead and hit plus. And now that creates that view. I uh, might also, maybe I want to do a, a top view. Yeah, see, so I want to see those cuts. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and hit plus again. So I'm going to get those scenes. In some of the items, like uh, let's talk about legs. So in our legs view, we have four different pieces. So when I go to my front view, for example, I see one and then a reverse one. I don't necessarily need to see all of these all the time. Um, I might have one leg I want to do of maybe, maybe I'll do something like this. I'll grab uh, these three and I will temporarily hide them. Remember, hidden items are a state that's saved in a scene. So I didn't get rid of them, they're still there. But for my next scene that I create, which is going to be a front view of this leg, so get that as big as I can on the screen, when I hit save, or create scene, I've now created a scene that is just this one because the others are hidden. So with this, since there's four different sides, I might work my way through here and just hit plus for each one of these sides as I work my way around, plus, and in the back view, plus, 
And again, they're not gone forever. So if I go back to my scene where I have the whole thing, they come back because that visibility, that hidden is saved in the properties of the scene. So this is a great way now to take my model without breaking it, tearing it apart or anything, set up all those same views that I had before. The nice thing is that I'm, what I'm doing is leveraging scenes and layers rather than tearing my model apart and duplicating a bunch of pieces. Hopefully that made sense and hopefully you enjoyed that. Like I said, the thing that I like about it is the fact that a viewer suggested we take a look at that workflow. We love making these videos and we do try to pull information from wherever we can. We get stuff from forums, from talking to you guys, um, from our live streams. We hear this kind of stuff a lot, but it's really cool to be able to take an idea that you guys had, you suggested to us directly and show it right in a, in a video like this right after the other one came out, which is really cool. So hopefully you like that. If you did like it, go ahead and hit like down below and subscribe. If you subscribe, you'll be notified the next time a video comes out, which is probably going to be later this week. And most importantly, as we've seen here, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you have ideas, if there's something you'd like to see, a specific workflow or a type of model. We like making these videos, but we like them a lot more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.